as you know, I love all things reality TV. It's always hilarious to me when I'm watching The Bachelor or The Bachelorette, The Golden Bachelor, doesn't matter. Soon to be The Golden Bachelorette because what a time to be alive. Jen seems like a lovely person, but I am so not engaged yet in this season. It's just such a snooze fest. Like she's got some cute guys on there, but I don't know. Their game is not totally getting me. And she's so lovely, but it's just not sticking. She's great, but she's not giving main character energy to me. Like Maria was, what's her name? The blonde chick, Daisy. She at the end was giving main character energy to me. I was excited. I wanted to follow their journey. It's Jen, I want her to find love. I know she's there for the right reasons, but like, it's just not gelling. But at any rate, while I I will still watch because that's what true fans do. I show up for games that I even know we're going to lose. Okay. That's the closest to a sports fan I'll ever be. So many of these guys are V emotional, which I love. Like give me all the emotionally literate, connected, high EQ people on the planet. But what I think is so fucking funny is that they'll show up to their one-on-one -on -one time with Jen and Jen's like, Hey, how are you? And the guy will respond, Great, great. Yeah, so today's basically been the worst day of my life. I'm hanging on by a thread and mentally I think I'm about to crack. And it's like, so just lead with that. Like, don't piss on her leg and try to convince her it's raining. Don't lead with, oh, I'm great. What a day. Loved playing shirtless rugby and getting my rib cracked when I'm like an IT guy who barely goes to the gym. <laughs> like, I, I, We get that these are all strong, awkward dates for everyone. So just walk in. And when she says, how are you? Say, this is a mind fuck. I'm really struggling. Don't be like, what a day. Wow. I'm on the verge of a nervous breakdown, Jen. This has been truly the most challenging thing next to my mom passing away when I was 12 years old. Just lead with the fact that this is bananas and you are living in the same house with 12 other guys who are dating the same girl and it's fucking with your head and just start there. But every single one of them, I don't care what version of The Bachelor, Bachelorette, Golden Bachelor, et cetera, that you're watching. Maybe not The Golden Bachelor because they're hopefully older and wiser and I can't really recall because we've only had one season. But for The Bachelor... And Bachelorette, they all do this. I'm great. Oh, yeah. And you look so cute. So I think I'm going to leave. This is too hard for me. And um, yeah, I just, I hate it here. I just, like, do you get what I'm saying? How are these two things in the same sentence? <laughs> no, I totally get what you're saying. But sure, lead with it. But also leave it at home because no one fucking cares. You signed up for this. You've seen the show. It's on its like 97th season. 100%. But even if there was something that you were struggling with, let's just say like you got a phone call, like you're a single parent or like whatever it is. And you got a phone call that your kid's really missing you. And that's weighing really heavy on you. Okay. Let's say it's a legitimate. That's a good one. That's okay. a good one. Right. But if it's just like, I just, these guys are like, right. This guy like there's just, a guy that's an this, asshole. That's no shit. For the, everybody knows he's just here up to no good. You know, like, he was cast specifically yeah. for this role. Like yeah. he's nailing it. Now yeah. go nail yours. Yeah, Kevin. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> so Kevin B. I, I'm not saying like you walk in and you just start hysterically crying to this person. I'm just saying when someone asks you, this is also in life. When someone asks you how you're doing, don't put a Band-Aid on a bullet wound and just be like, everything's coming up roses. Couldn't have had a better day. This has been so great. Once in a lifetime. <laughs> no, just say, God, I was struggling today and it actually made me so happy to see you. Like, you don't have to show up like a cheerleader in every moment of this journey. And by the way, I've never been on the show, but I've watched every season and I would consider myself an aficionado. That's just not how you do it. You gotta, you gotta go in, you gotta own your shit. You, don't be a mess. Don't be emotionally messy all over the place. There's a few guys, the guy that's the Marine this season is really, he's lovely. I feel like he's doing a really great job. There's two guys that just butt heads like crazy. One of them thinks he's like Mark Wahlberg, just like a tough guy. Like every time he would get around Jen, he'd be like doing like the lip lick where it's just like, stop. Like this isn't a 1990s R&B video. Like you can't pull that off. But he's always just like, yeah, just, <laughs> you bother me, you know? You sound like Danny you Zuko. You bother me. Well, because that's what they're all trying to be Danny Zuko. You're not Danny Zuko. 
Okay. Like you are David from accounting from San Diego, which is great, but that's not your role. And so (laughs) when he does that, he has locked in on like, now this is his, his shtick. So for the first three episodes, every time he got with her, like they have very him. Who is this guy? I can't remember his name. He's cute. But and they do have really good sexual chemistry. But like we need to move past that. You need to move past the sexy lip lick and you just bother me. And then like going in for a kiss, like give me something else. Um, And then the other guy who could um, like I'm on the fence about him. He's like, I don't know. He's got like a big gummy smile that's all I can remember about him which sounds so terrible I need to get these people's names hold on so I don't sound like an asshole describing people on like their worst qualities <laughs> Devin that's who freight company owner out of Houston so, oh I think I call him the shipping air yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like the low rent shipping air. Devin's the shipping air <laughs> Marcus is the army ranger veteran who I think is really lovely um oh Sam M yep contractor myrtle beach oh he's from florida that track is the the shipping air is he the like real fucking obnoxious one that some people were like no he really no. speaks his mind i like that guy and then other people are just like oh he just is horrible this is sam m this okay. is who thinks he's mark Wahlberg. to be able to express confidence in an area like this is gonna speak volumes oh I mean, I think right now, Sam M and I have a very palpable sexual tension. Somebody get me a towel. You bother me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I know who that one is. Okay. Like, shut up. And by the way, he's super cute, but like, and when she was sitting there saying, I don't want to do this, he's like, you're going to do it. We're doing it. And it's like, listen to her. But the only reason he's still there is because they have sexual chemistry. That's what I feel. Oh, Sam N was the one who was so out to lunch. He's literally tackling guys being such a dickwad. And he's like, (laughs) today's the day I've shown up. We're in love. We're going to kiss. And then like later in the day, he's like, so can I kiss you? And she's like, and I really want to take our relationship to the next step. So Jen, can I kiss you? Um... confused i did a lot of bold things i wore a denim jacket so i thought i was like you know gi joe in there like way to read the room sam n <laughs> n n this is Devin. oh yeah that guy's real obnoxious i don't know i'm trying to respect everyone's time and like yeah. oh what's i've got this? dessert but only for two. You mind if I steal it for a minute? Job How about you give me a minute, then I'll give you a couple minutes. <sighs> but the ice cream's melting, Aaron. I really can't. Would you mind? I do mind. I wasn't asking you. Hi. Hello, Mr. Ice Cream. I thought we could try this again now that we have a little bit more time <laughs> to ourselves. I like it, I like yeah. it. I'm peeved. I was interrupted by Devin. Just upset. I feel like he's just disrespecting me. Devin and Sam are the ones that are getting the most airtime right yeah. now. And both of them are quite frankly are annoying and obnoxious. Yeah. Like sometimes Devin both, doesn't like Sam, right? No, they hate each other. Yeah. Those are the two that lock yeah, And horns. Devin's always like, oh, a flick of the wrist. This guy will be gone. Just wait. I'll take care of this guy. Like, I'm like, what? Meanwhile, they're fucking in the coat closet. <laughs> so, like, what? I think we're a few weeks past. He's still here. Yeah. You're not doing great. It's always a bummer when you're in a season where the, whether it's the guys or the girls, where they're more invested in the animosity between two yeah. people or like one person and the rest of the house, as opposed to being there for the person. And I get that it's a fucking TV show. Okay. Well, it's a competition and they're dudes. So it's always going to be more about how do I win? But like, haven't you seen the show before? You know, sh- they never end up with that person. So just stay in your lane and work your moves with the chick that you came here to date. Don't worry about Sam M or N or A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Just do you, boo. <laughs> okay. And accept your rose and go home and get your passport, your passport, get your passport stamped. On this journey to find love. And by passport, I mean your dick. <laughs> by passport, I mean. Yeah, exactly. Also, when you get the guy on there that it's like, you are a ho ho homosexual. Get off this show. <laughs> Nothing's catching fire yet this season mm-hmm. on The Bachelorette. I will say, and I'm a little behind, that I know somewhere soon, I feel like we take a real turns. Like her ex just showed up. 
and I think something else happens. So maybe it's going to get interesting. But right now it's a bit of a snooze fest. If it's not Nick Vile, I don't care who shows up. It's not. <laughs> I know. He's married now or together, whatever he oh, is. No, I think they're married. Oh, I know. And honestly, I think he gives good advice, but I'm bored. I just like it when he does reality show stuff. I don't, Same, because he's need, great yeah. as that. But he's, right. he's really great at advice. It's just like, I'm not here for that. I'm, if you're, unless you're going to do it with your shirt off. 